Are you ready to install this four hour timer with me? Let's do it. Okay, I've turned the breaker back on. I have not tested this yet, but theory has it. And see, I like to do everything on camera. I don't like to check it out first and get it all set up and all that. Okay, I've got that timer on. So if I put my tester in here, this should be on. And look at that. See the orange light? Push that back and that's on. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. I got it clicked. I heard it click off. But I can still hear the timer going, going a little bit. And I don't think the timer's on now. I think it's just kind of taking a couple seconds to shut off because I turned it off. That's why I say um, once you turn it on, you just want to have it naturally turn off. Okay, I'm going to see if the power is off here, and I hope it is. I think it will be because I heard this click off. Okay. Look at that, and sure enough, the power is off to this plug, just like I wanted. Okay. Is it all starting to make sense now? You see there? All the power comes to here. Ooh, it sounds like I'm on a cruise. Let's get this plugged back in. Looks just like it, it did beforehand, huh? Just like that. And, you know, there should be no power there. I can't even reset it. Got the handheld remote here. Nothing's happening. Pressing the power button, nothing ha is happening. Because I've got to turn the timer on first. Now let's turn that on and see what happens. I turn it past that. And that's on. And see it went on because I tried turning it on from before. Now I got this. And I can turn that off right here with the handheld unit. You see that? It's off. And um, I can turn the power on up there and it's back on. Now this handheld unit will work until this gets shut off. Pretty cool, eh? This is going to save a ton of money when running this air conditioner. That way when somebody walks out the door, if they got the, they have to have the timer on no matter what to have this unit running. Lots of people will crank this up to four and then they walk out the door 10 minutes later, 15 minutes later, and they forgot that they, that they turned it all the way to four. Well, if they're only gonna need it for an hour, all they have to do is turn it to one. You know what I mean? And then it will shut off. But if they forget and they turn it all the way on to four hours, at least it's only gonna, if they're only here for an hour and they take off, at least this unit's only going to run for another three hours. It's not going to run for another eight hours, another ten hours, or whatever. Okay? Now here's another important thing to think about with this timer. One more thing. Now I've got everything off right now with the handheld. There's power on to here, okay? So this, I can have it off right now. The timer's on but I'm just not, I just don't have it on yet. But once I turn this on, if I leave this unit on, let's say I turn it on here now, and the unit is running, the unit's gonna shut off when this shuts off, when the timer shuts off. Next time I turn the timer on, this is automatically gonna turn on without using the handheld remote because this was on when the timer went off. Does that make sense? But if you, if you have this off, let's say you got it on now and you're going out the door, the timer's on, you don't have to even touch the timer. You're going out the door, oh, I'll turn the air conditioner off. You turn it off with the remote. Now this timer is just gonna shut off and next time you turn the timer on, your air conditioner is not gonna go on until you use the handheld remote, okay? So there you go.
that's going to save you lots of money.